Too often in this world, you hear about union leadership and old stereotypes rule. Not in this union. This conference, it proves that. This conference is AFSCME's commitment to building a future of the union today. Sisters and brothers, getting angry isn't enough. By comparison, getting angry is easy. It's getting active. It's getting smart. It's getting results. That, that, sisters and brothers, that's hard. Too often, the game is rigged. And the rules are broken. And they're being broken by and on behalf of the richest and most powerful in this country. So here's our challenge. We need to change the rules, right? To change the rules, we also need strong leaders. And we need them at every level of our union, in every workplace, in every local, and in every council. And I know there, there are many right here in this room with me today. Brothers and sisters, you inherit a legacy. It's a legacy of courage. It's a legacy of action and hard work. It's the hopes and the dreams of those who came before you in the labor movement and put into your hands, your hands, with encouragement to go even farther than they could for the working people, to become the next generation's inspiration. Think about that. To become the next generation's inspiration. You're already, you are already a part of that legacy. And you are already inspiring. Because whenever AFSCME has been on the front lines fighting for our members, you all have been right there. Brothers and sisters, every single one of you in this room has what it takes to play a crucial role in shaping the days, the months, and the years ahead. And to get where we're going, to truly lead our union forward against the challenges that we face, we're going to need to help each other out. That's right. We're going to need to help each other out. Solidarity. And as we climb the ladder, as we climb that ladder, we have to reach back and we have to pull people up with us. And we're going to need some strong leadership, some smart leadership, if we're going to be successful in protecting and defending workers' rights, protecting retirement security, fighting outsourcing, and making sure that all workers in this country have a voice through comprehensive immigration reform. Make no mistake, our country and our union faces many roadblocks. But together, together we will overcome them. You're at the wheel of the mighty green machine, sisters and brothers. You're at the wheel. And I know that no matter what obstacles face us on the roads ahead, I know that you will find the way, our way. Thank you so much.